Hello everybody, another clicking mark. This is I Hero Academia uh, episode or season one episode eight But Google's start line. Uh last episode we had um we had Izuku the Doria making his first real um accomplishment in the in the school once again in the in the class once again proving that he is meant to be here at the great dismay of um Bakugo who would like nothing more than to rub that guy and rub, rub Azuku's face into the ground ever since they were kids apparently uh yeah he kicked his ass and just like he's getting some you know repertoire with the uh, with the girl Chaco Kenya seems pretty cool and uh, I guess we're continuing class I assume the fight between him and Bakugo was amazing but my favorite part of the show so far my, my, my standout moment is actually in episode 6 I think in episode 6 when the mom makes him the costume which she holds six out of her purse and she holds out in front of him and she's so proud of him but she feels so bad for what she had said to him all those years ago and and she tells him I'm gonna be a hundred percent in your court in your corner from now on or something like that. That was probably the best moment of the show for me. I remember that and I, I, I thought about it and actually went back to watch that again because that was very, very beautiful, very touching. And you could tell that it's it um she always felt bad about it. It's, she could tell she was been thinking about it for a long time and it's haunted her. And then when she saw what he did and she felt like, Man, I must I must be the worst mom must be uh worst mom ever because I didn't support my kid and the way he did he he became he's he's he made it into the university despite my lack of support. And I'm a piece of shit or something like that, you know? She's been thinking about that and so now she's gonna make up for it by being in his corner from now on. And I love the fact that he didn't, um, he, because the costume's a little bit funky, but he didn't shy away from it. He says that, no, I'm gonna wear it because my mom, my mom made it. That's adorable. Adorable. Uh, no, it was a great moment. So he's gonna be, he's going back into it. And, uh, he's, uh, we'll see what happens next. Aizawa? I think that's his name. Where's my notes? Right, is. Aizawa, the teacher, is still an ass. We'll see where he goes. I mean, looks like he does see some potential in our in our kid, but we'll see where I, we'll see where that goes. I don't know about him. He's got an out for him or something. All Might and him have a relationship. Aizawa, All Might. Interesting. And uh, there was that kid with the ice coming out of his face, and the bird. Character, there's a bunch of other characters. I don't know. Uh, but I'm getting uh, now. I'm starting to look at them for their superpowers and wondering what their weaknesses are. So that's we go. So let's do this. Let's do this. Episode eight. Also, Donnie Darko. That's what I was thinking of with the rabbit. The rabbit is. I was thinking he looked kind of like. Um, he looked like the Donnie Darko rabbit thing. The costume that he was wearing. Okay. Let's go. You can't stop me. Are you okay? She saves the world so cute. Yeah, man. You didn't hold back at all. Oh, he's scared. He's got some mental problems. So you play the villain better than they play the hero. <laughs> Who's she? One of the four students admitted to the hero force. Yes. Never! 
Time to blow this joint. Let's move on to the next match. Oh, hey, Ojiro. Let's get serious. I'm going to take off all my clothes and totally disappear. <laughs> yeah, cool. <laughs> I can't see it anyway. Okay, just talk to his mouth. Yeah, so we're saying we're getting to know all these characters. And what's his name? Obviously, he's got ice. Holy shit! Look out, you guys! Look out, Bukuro. Uh, look out, Izuku. Look out, Izuku. There are um, other people with. Um, you're not the only smart, uh, smart superhero around here. What? I can do both. Whoa. That's why it's iron like that. I mean, now we thought Izuku then was, you know, Baku was hot shit. But then that little guy showed up, goddamn. There's way more powerful um, superheroes than just them. I wanted to see what this one does. A team at. And this puppet here, he just watches people. Renata? What the hell? She can hear? Oh, uh, Aoyama? Aoyama? Shido. Um, she looks like uh, something from um, Steven Universe. <laughs> That's a preview for next class. When he realizes that he's not the hottest shit on the planet. Oh, we have to change back. Does he keep the costume on? He does. Oh, it's too big. Recovery, yeah. I know you passed your powers on to this boy, but you can't spoil him. I am trying not to play favorites. However, only a select few people know the secret of one for all. It's you, the principal, and a very close friend of mine. Very hey, close friend, No one else knows the truth about my powers. You're the number one hero in the world, all right. He got knocked out so bad, he ended up in an IV coma. Practice. I said an IV through him and everything. Oh, she really is called a cover girl. <laughs> it's kind of she must have had his power for a long time. Abuse time. Oh shit. Oh, they're fans. They're they putting the emphasis in the wrong syllable. Bakugo. Bakugo. Kugo. So you actually that's a nice name like that. <laughs> the way he walks. <laughs> he doesn't bend at the elbow. No, he does. Nope. He's a fastidious one, for sure. Oh no. Yeah. You're not going to tell him, are you? Maybe then you'll understand what's been going on. I wasn't hiding my work from you. It was given to me by someone else. 
Holy shit, he just told him. But I can't tell you who I got it from, so don't ask. Sounds crazy. No. Like he was never supposed to talk about it. Only it's real. That's why. He's not gonna wanna hear that. He doesn't look too happy. Oh, why would you have to say that to him? <laughs> How did that accidentally come out of your mouth? He doesn't believe him. You're too hard on yourself, man. He's not looking for friends. He farted. Oh. <laughs> I found you. Everyone needs help, man. <laughs> yeah, it is. <laughs> They're always watching the end of it. No, no idea what they say. She reads a lot of manga. Where he's determined. Fake amnesia. Okay, but Kuku got a dose of reality today. A taste of his own medicine. He um, had to swallow his pride to see for himself. He had never actually had to cheat. He was never challenged before. And not only was he, for him, he not only was he defeated by Midoriya in a way, um, he also kind of was beat intele intellectually by the girl, the other lady. Mm. What's her name? Mm. Mm. Momo. I think it's Momo. And um, watching the ice guy realize even that that guy actually over, uh, what do you call it? Uh, far exceeds even his own abilities. So he got, for him, he he got his, put in his place in more ways than one. And he's realized that he's not as great as he was, as he thought he was. Something I think he needed. He needed to, to a slap in the face to really see. Because if anything, you know, uh, if anything, the Izuku is not is prideful, arrogant. He's humble, and nothing like dropping. Nothing like dropping. But Kuku was the opposite of that. He's extremely arrogant and very prideful. And putting him in a position where he can see from dropping him into a school like that with all these other powers makes you realize, wow, I'm not as great as I thought I was. And you make you look an idiot. And you can handle it in two ways. You can go and cry about and complain it's not fair. Or you can rise above that and start improving yourself. But the thing is, he's, he's got to realize it's not a competition. This is a it's a school to learn to be a hero. You all got to work together. It's not about who's more powerful. Than, you know, you don't see Batman or Jealous or Superman them for their powers. No, he's he's uh, they work together. You know, Batman's smarter anyway. And that always trumps everything. Ah, but okay. That was the first time I've actually felt sympathy for Bakugo. There's definitely more to the character, and I like that. They are, there's this depth and intrigue there. The, the character's a lot more... They're getting deeper. We just got dropped a whole ton of names, but I can't remember them all right now. But um, I'll work on it. We got Momo, which is that girl with the cocktail dress on. So she's got kind of the intelligent thing. I don't know. I didn't catch what the power was. I was too busy writing... Uh, Tsuyu Asui, I like that name. Tsuyu Asui is uh, is um, the one with the tongue, I think, coming out of the mouth. And Mezo Shoji. Shoji, that was, um, I forget. Is he the one with the things coming out of his back and speaking to a tube? I don't know. 
Todoroki Shoto. That's the ice guy. He definitely caught my attention last one. He seemed very wise. And sure enough, he has some powers to back it up. Half cold, half heat. Okay, that, one, that explains why he had red eyes with ice on one part of his body. That is a badass look, man. Um, but you know, you, you'll see. He looks, he's very powerful. And he's very, uh, he seems to understand this more than anybody. How this works. But I bet you there's skeletons in his closet too. There always is. He has weaknesses of his own. He has fears of his own. Everybody does. And though he seems to be the most put together, well, there's a reason why he didn't become the greatest hero of all time. But I think he'll be one of the better assets. But there will eventually come a time when we'll see what his weaknesses and problems are. You know. So far, though, he seems the most well-rounded. He's got, he's got amazing power, but he's also got brains and uh, seems so far pretty humble and he doesn't he doesn't even brag about it or you know it wasn't your fault you know and you just we're just in a different class I think he meant that not as a not as a insult like Bakugo would have made that as an insult right we're just not in the same class but this guy meant it as a as a you know um um as a fact, more than anything else, he doesn't. He, he's trying to save the guy's pride or something. I don't know. Also, there are not many people who know about um, who the identity of All Might, and there are even fewer people who know about his one for all ability that is passed on or that kind of stuff, right? Transferable um, powers. Only four people know the principal, the kissy lady, recovery girl. Izuku and a very very close friend we don't wish we don't know and I'm I'm pretty sure that's gonna be coming up that's not Aizawa right there's no way that guy is his friend <laughs> mm. alright so that's about it basically We got to meet all the classmates, learn a little bit more about All Might, and Bokugo got his first taste of reality. On to episode 9.